Hello again, amazing people on YouTube. Welcome to another video. Happy Ramadan. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my own experience using Raycast for the past three months. I'm really excited for it. Um, Raycast actually helped me boost my productivity really good. And besides all the productivity, it actually makes using the Mac really, really fun. And I'm going to be showing you why right now. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. Now, I have disabled Spotlight in my Mac entirely. And if I want to launch Raycast right now, all I need to do is just hit Option Space. And there you go, you got Raycast just like that. Now, um, I'm gonna be talking how to use Raycast, why I love it, custom aliases and quick links, window management, and yes, you got window management exactly like Magnet. So if you haven't purchased a Magnet like I did, you probably won't need it after using this app. And uh, after window management, I'm gonna be talking about uh, a few extensions, clipboard history, and uh, the store in uh, in Raycast. Uh, how to use math stuff. I'm not really a math guy, but you can use pretty fun stuff like floor or round or locked in or a few other stuff. And how to just connect it to Apple shortcuts so you can launch your Apple shortcuts pretty pretty fast. So. Okay, my one's calling. I have to pause this. So guys, basically, uh, all you have, all you need to do, uh, if you set Raycast as I did, option space. Now you hit option space in order to launch it. Now, um, first of all, I use Raycast for everything, like pretty basic stuff. Let's say stuff. So I open Safari or Upwork. So I open Upwork or Reddit. So I open Reddit. Now this is pretty much you can launch Safari and type it in Safari. But I use this in Raycast as well. Now, um, I I really love Raycast because you didn't need to use the mouse so often or like just go to Safari and then click on Safari and then click on Upwork. It might be one second less or half a second less, but you can actually like, uh, even you can do just like websites here. So if you just like web.com and now you can open it in browser or something.net and like you get the idea and you can just like pretty much open it in Safari. Now, let's talk about custom aliases because as you had noticed, when I click soft, I have the, the custom is here no I didn't have this for Upwork and I probably won't need it for Safari because it's pretty much obvious the SAF but you will get the idea right now so let's just uh, let's just get something out of the way you got this button here which um, which pretty much you will use it a lot but in your keyboard so if you hit command K you will open the menu of this button and in time you will remember all of this stuff you won't need all of those stuff but you will need to know um the command k so you can navigate here or the configure command or whatever it is so let's just go to configure command for example now i clicked configure command on clipboard history and we will go around this uh, soon enough but i want to show you first of all the settings of the app here general and appearance you can see that system dark or light extensions uh, account appearance and so on so we will be only using the extension tab from all of this so from the extension tab you got all commands scripts apps quick links we're gonna go through all of them but we will start in quick links for example so I will delete um, eBay because I will explain how to do this right now. But as you can see, I have quick links here with alias and hotkey. So alias is just something you type in Raycast that can lead you pretty fast to the thing. And record key is just a keyboard shortcut. Now, I have set search Google alias for SG, as in search Google. So if I launch Raycast and type SG, and now do you love Raycast, for example, and I've just searched Google just like that. You can use the same thing, um, YouTube search, uh, search YouTube. So search YouTube, fun B. <laughs> no, what the fuck is fun B? So, oh, we got Kanye in the house. So, and just like that, we have search YouTube. And let's just, uh, let me show you how to do your own quick links. Pretty, pretty, pretty easy. So let me just exit this. So you can just launch Raycast and create quick link. Or in my case, I've set alias for create quick links um so it's cql so cql and now enter and let's just say for example search ebay now in their example they got google.com search uh, question mark q curious so if you have no idea what is this so this is basically a query search where a query is going to be replacing the word the word that will be searched 
you will leave it as query here but if you notice when I click search Google you have query here so now you type something and the something goes in the search for Google let me show you a live example so eb.com see I don't need to even launch Safari I just type it in Raycast so for example let's just search for something let's just say a car all right now probably there's maybe a shorter way to do it but I love to make it simple we have searched for a car now we go to the link we search for the word car this is the word car and you will replace this with a query let's just not do it here let's do it for in, in Raycast so CQL create quick link and there you go oh not here here's the name so the name is let's say uh, for example eBay search all right now you can pass it a link and just replace the car with query with the brackets so query close bracket and there you go command enter and there you go create quick link you have your first quick link searching eBay let's exit this now if you launch Raycast and search eBay all right now or was it eBay search yeah eBay search now notice it's actually like it's it's not slow I just typed eBay and there you have you have it but just in case you have a bunch of other stuff or you wanted to I don't know even shorten this so do you remember our friend here the button so we say command K can launch this menu from the button now you get open link uh, edit link now you can either click command K and see through this and now edit quickly and click enter or if you remember it in time so you can simply just command E now let's try it command E there you go now let's go again command K and now we will go to configure quick link which is command option comma again command um, sorry shift command shift comma and there you go you are now in the quick links where we were previously now, eBay search add alias let's just call it ES for example that, uh, which is eBay search let's exit and let's try it eBay search boom you just hit space or you can also hit enter eBay search space or um, or eBay search enter all works now eBay search I don't know iPhone XS for example and there you go you have searched iPhone XS super fast you can set this up for whatever you need I will leave this part of productivity for you to just handle it yourself now uh, so we just covered uh, quick links and custom aliases let me show you window management right now which if I knew this before buying magnet the app and I know there's other apps that you don't have to buy and can do the same stuff as magnet we are not gonna dive into this right now but if you type window in Raycast you got all of those possibilities that you can just align the window now for this thing probably you don't want to set an alias you can but probably you won't let's launch VS code for example all right now this is VS code now you can just type center and just type in the center while this is slower than setting an alias but for this it would be a great deal or just even faster than alias to just set a hotkey so for example left half or um, or right half let's just do a hotkey for this so command K again configure command now you got all your windows right here so you can just do um, let's say for example command shift R yeah and this is or command shift lift oh lift is taken okay, well by command option L command option L yeah all right so I got many hotkeys but you probably won't have this problem but I get many hotkeys set up for magnet or many many other apps so this is the left half let's um search the right half shall we so let's search the right half as well just for testing purpose let's set this command option uh, shift and right there you go now let's try it command option shift and L boom R L R just as fast as magnet I'm using now I'm using magnet and now I'm using uh, Raycast it's the same thing and yeah I have said I got magnet this is magnet just right here right um, so this was window management now this comes straight with our uh, Raycast but you probably want to know that there is a store in Raycast now if you click our uh, option space as we covered this before and you type store at a store many great extensions in there and if you are a developer yourself you can make your own extensions you can see uh, cyberdoc dash days until Christmas uh, docker docker hub many 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 other stuff now I have a few uh, stuff that I like already installed in my Mac uh, Google Translate brew or whatever so you basically got store in here I don't know say uh, VS code you search for VS code or Visual Studio 
and you will notice that you got a uh, Visual Studio uh, Code Project Manager or whatever. Now I got, uh, if I type VSS, I will search through recent project of VS Code, which is pretty cool. See, for example, and voila, I've just launched it. This is pretty, pretty, pretty fast. Again, from the start, VS Code, uh, um, I went into it. So VS Code, VSS, and voila, Image Uploader, for example, and I've just launched Image Uploader. This is pretty, pretty fast. Now, uh, so this is the Raycut store, and notice if I were in search recent project, the VSS command or the alias that I've shown you before, and you just open something from it, if you launch Raycast again, it will take you straight to the command. So if you want to search for another thing, you don't have to just like, you know, do this again, which is pretty neat. Um, so next, I'll show you uh, pretty quick that you can do basics. Actually, not really basic. I find this really cool. Well, as um, well, the basic stuff, but you have this in Spotlight as well. You can also do logged in, for example, some number plus one, which will calculate how many digits are in a number so one two three four five six seven you have seven digits now if this bothers you which is actually it's not accurate it's only seven if you add one it's only eight so you can also use the round function in here so you can use the round and there you go you have nine um let's take two now you have seven let's add three now you have ten you can also use the floor so i don't know how are you going to use all of those but it's actually pretty pretty sick so you can use all of those stuff and it's actually cool that you can use all of those stuff just in your uh, spotlight or single click in your raycast so um you can also uh have aliases set up for your um shortcuts so for example i'm a drag and drop guy like i like dragging and dropping file from here to there from there to here so one of my uh one of my workflows i have like one folder here, one folder here, another folder here. It just helps me navigate through files really easy, downloads to clients, to something else. So I've set up a shortcut in uh, Apple Shortcuts that can help you do that. Now I can just launch it, just typing ARF, which is arrange folders right there. And there you go, uh, arranging folders for monitor. Because I have an if statement in this shortcut, so if I on my MacBook screen, it will uh, do them accordingly to my Mac screen if I on my monitor, so it will do this like accordingly to my monitor um, resolutions so uh, anyway and just because like I can drag and drop and all of this stuff so anyway you can also do your own custom scripts as I showed you before I have a CCP which is a create C project and I can just like that let's say uh, YouTube so I can oh YouTube files exist which is crazy uh, let's do a CCP and uh, Google for example and I've created a Google directory and inside it a C file named google.c and I have initiated the main C function and now I, I can just start working on it. I have the same thing for uh, React for example. Now all of those stuff are scripts. So I have uh, init react app, create a file, what's my IP. I can also search in app store by the way, which is, um, it's like the quick link search, but because there is no quick link in the app store, like I couldn't actually figure it out how I'm going to do this. So I just did that in a script so I can basically just like do SAP for example SAP Angry Birds Angry Birds and Apple Store just like that um, so yeah you got uh, a bunch of scripts that I made well no I got a bunch of script that I made but you can make your own scripts so again let's just launch dot e extensions and you got here the script so if you uh, search for create script uh, create script command, which I got an alias for it, CSC. So CSC, now you can pick the desired language that you want, if it's Bash or Apple Script, Python, uh, Node.js, or whatever you want. If you want to use some arguments, so let's use a really basic stuff. So let's have an argument, for example, and do uh, let's do a Bash script. Uh, let's call it, I don't know, test, and create script command which is let me do a command case so you can see the options so create an open script so let's do command shift enter so command shift enter now you're gonna save it it's gonna take you to save it in the raycast scripts so this is the raycast scripts uh this is all the scripts i have set up myself so so let's just do a quick fs raycast scripts there you go now i've said previously you got the command case so you can open it just by enter or show and finder so let's open it and we have our test script here. Let me close this. Let's go. Sorry for it. 
So yeah, so it's echo, hello world, and argument one value. You know what, let's just leave it like that. Now let's just launch it. Let's do test. And then in the argument, let's do um, raycast, enter. Now you got hello world, argument one value is raycast. And you can do whatever you want. Okay, so let me show you another cool um, extension that I have downloaded from the store, which if you want to copy your code in a really cool way, now let me launch the VSS again here. Let's pick, uh, I don't know, some project image uploader, for example. Now you can simply select the text and just like, I have not set an alias for it. So there it is, copy image and it generate a screenshot right now. So that's it, copy to clipboard. Now with the Raycast, you know, I showed you, we can easily check the clipboard history and there it is. There it is. Now you can do Command L just to check it up. And just a quick reminder, Command K, and that's the Command L. It's a quick look, or you can, like it's already in your clipboard, so you can show in Finder if you want. And there it is in Finder. And um, that's simply it. Or you can just do it the other way. So you can do, um, so Reso. So you can create image from code. I have a CIFC, so if we do CIFC, and then you can just, um, your code goes here this is the same thing but you know you can do it like with more configuration so just hit command enter it opened in my other screen where is my uh yeah so there it is so you can just change it visually here just like how you would like it like i actually like this sunset right here and um yeah you can do a dark mode normal mode without background with background and like that's pretty much it it's pretty sick you can export it um, as an SVG, PNG image. So like, I'm showing you an extension for Raycast right now. This has nothing to do with Raycast, but as I showed you previously, you got the store here and you can search whatever you want. You can search for code, uh, URL tools, QR code generator, many other stuff. Let's search for uh, image. And then you got Docker Hub, Jira, Unsplash, remove background. Let's search for color, for example, or whatever you want, develop. Xcode, Shopify, many, many other stuff. So uh, that's pretty much it for Raycast. There is a ton more stuff to go over. Um, I hope there was, a I hope you learned uh, one thing or two from all of these guys. And I really wanted to share my experience using Raycast because I wanted to use Alfred for as long as I can remember. It just, the UI, I, I don't know. I'm just a visual person. So I didn't find it quite beautiful with the Mac as I did with Raycast, so I decided to give Raycast a try and it blew me up and, and you, you didn't have to pay anything for it. Uh, in Alfred, I eventually downloaded it for a couple of days, so you need to upgrade to the toolkit or whatever it is combo for 30 or $40 and here I didn't have to pay for anything. So it will take you some time to set up your workflow, your shortcuts, aliases and everything, but as soon as you do it, you'll be amazed. Uh, hopefully you will be amazed like I did. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great blessed day. Cheers.